Hi traders, this is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the Morning Edge webinar. Like I said, we've got to get busy this morning. We've got um, Chris Bayer, who's going to be joining us here on the uh, second hour of the Morning Edge. So I want to get through all these charts. Let's go over to the Euro. And like I said, I uh, I was short the Euro, closed it out. I, I got a really, really great price yesterday. You guys might have recalled, um, you know, we had resistance at 111.25 that resistance was because of and obviously I had to delete everything but you can see there's a 786 retracement right there and there's a 50% retracement right there so we had this confluence in the uh, in the um, here let me delete that we had a confluence right here on the um, euro dollar right at I'm grabbing my pen so just give me a second right at that uh, 129.25 level. So the 786 retracement, the 50% retracement, it was a great setup for a short. Now you can see what we've done is we backed right into previous resistance that's acting as current support. That's why I wanted to close it. Now, um, you you know, you can make the same argument with the Kiwi that's trying to break higher today too. You can say, well, look, the Euro dollar just broke a nice you know, downtrend line and, and we came back right back down again. Listen, I, I look at the Kiwi dollar and the Kiwi dollar is still weak. Commodities are still weak. Um, you know, crude oil is weak, gold's weak. You know, the Kiwi could very easily stay weak. You know, we, even though I tweeted out that chart, but it's all really, it comes down to tomorrow. I mean, how about, how, how about, how about if, you, you know, Janet Yellen said last meeting, she said every meeting is live. That meant that she could raise rates tomorrow. Okay. She could raise rates tomorrow and hold an emergency press meeting, press conference. And if that happens, the dollar is, the, the dollar is going to gap probably 150 to 250 pips higher against everything. It will. Now, do I think that that's going to happen? No, but is that possible? Sure, it, it, and it will, ch it will change every chart that we're looking at. It doesn't matter what chart that you're looking at, everything will change dramatically if something like that happens. And you know, like she said the last meeting, she's like, it's every meeting is, the, is, 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 is live, okay? So what you're seeing here in the Euro, it can very easily happen to the Kiwi too tomorrow, but I, I'm, I'm, I would say the, uh, the, the, the chances of it are not very high, but you know, like I said, things can change. Okay, but what I'm looking at in the euro right now is, uh, and and the euro pound is very similar. Is you've got this, you know, really like this channel that you got to, you know, adhere to, in my opinion. Okay, looks something like this, maybe like that. However, you want to draw it. We're just we're approaching channel support, so you, you you imagine this this right here can get probed a little bit, and I would say 1.00 uh, or excuse me uh, 110 even is probably going to be pretty critical support today. You can imagine we probe right back through this breakout point, just enough to trip some stops and then bounce back up. So 110. It's going to be big support. It's around number two. Okay. Now, imagine, you know, you missed your long the euro dollar. You missed your sell yesterday, kind of like I did with my dollar yen. You know, I, I should have closed out my dollar yen yesterday, and I didn't. Well, a lot of people are saying, well, I should have closed out my euro dollar long, and I didn't. You know what I mean? So now if you're long the euro dollar, where is it that you're going to want to get out on any rally? Because um, I'd assume that you're like, oh, man, if we can just get back up somewhere in this neighborhood, I'd be a seller. Okay. And that's probably what we got to look at. We've got to look at a move. Uh, well, that's. I guess that'll offer resistance today, won't it? That's no, 110.60. Okay. So any move back up to 110.60, probably.
probably offer some resistance. Now remember, we're going into uh, we're going into um, uh, pre NF pre uh, uh, interest rate mode. So pre interest rate mode means that you know, especially after the volatility we've seen the last couple of days, we might get kind of quiet. I, I, I Frank, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see us do this today. Right. And we'll consolidate ahead of tomorrow. I, 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 I personally could see that happening. Now that doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm just saying that, um, that you know, there's there's a there's a good shot of that happening. Come on, uh, Swissy, go. Swissy's at highs of the day. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. All right. Um. So we'll keep an eye on the euro there, and I might have to change those numbers going into the lunch money webinar. So here's the pound. We had a uh, inline print with um, inline print for UK GDP, seven eight six retracement. I mean that obviously is this is going to stall us, and and you can see exactly how that spike high. Into the 786 is going to be a little problematic. So that's 156 and a quarter. We were definitely in a range with the pound. Um, support. All these, they all have the same upward sloping channel, don't they? They, they do. Look at the euro dollars the same way. Tell me that's not the same channel that we're dealing with at the euro that we're probably dealing with here with the cable. So now any dip down to 155.50, probably going to be very well supported. 155, maybe even 40. Okay. Uh, let's go into the dollar Swiss. So Swiss is trying to break higher. Yes, it is. And again, I'm long the dollar Swiss. It's my only dollar long, but I'm I feel like I'm sh short Swiss francs more than long dollars. Although it's it'll work out just fine as a long dollar trade, I'm sure. But you know, I, I'm looking at it more as um, uh, selling Swiss. Now we have a double bottom here. Okay, double. Well, I don't have to redraw another red line. Uh, double bottom. Let's that out. Now remember, it, this has been a, actually pretty, pretty, pretty uh, uh, good technical trade because you got a double bottom. Now you got range extension that should take us. Well, looks like beyond the 161% extension, but eventually on this move up. Let me remove that really quick. No. Okay. Move that there. Let's go to fib extension. And I'm going to have to redo that again. Okay. So. Hundred twenty seven percent extension comes in at ninety six eighty, which we're ten pips away from, but that should offer resistance. Okay. And just like yesterday, this is bullish. Okay. Okay, um, 96.80 support on dips. Okay, there we go. Just had to reset that. Um, did 
touch, 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 touch. So any dip now to 96, probably 40, right through here, 96.35 is going to be pretty well supported. 96.35 if you can get it, probably be a good thing. Um, dollar yen. I closed out on my dollar yen short. Like I said, yesterday I should have done it. I knew it. I was looking at it and I, like an, like an, like a dummy. I mean, I, I was literally looking at it yesterday evening going, I should cover this. I should not be short the dollar yen down here. That 38% retracement, uh, which comes in at 122.90, uh, which we wrote down yesterday as support. Yeah, it didn't even get touched. 123 is being supported, but 120, 122.90 is going to be big support. If we see it again. Uh, Okay, now we're rallying back. Now the question is, where do we go from here? Because you have to imagine risk appetite is probably going to improve. You know, you get the, the uh, you know, U.S. equity markets continue to improve here. We could see a breakout. I mean, 123.90, hold on real quick. Yeah, 123.90, big resistance here. Probably get up there. Okay. Um, Dollar Canadian. Dollar Canadian's really quiet. I mean, look look at how we're just, you know, Trying to develop a head and shoulder pattern here, but I, I I wouldn't trust that. Okay, while you're above here, so while you're above that trend line, don't. I, I would be very careful about trading this to the short side. Okay, I I'm hoping to get a dip. This is what I drew this out yesterday because I'm really hoping that maybe this does work out. Here, this. Okay. Really hoping that does play out, and then I can get long down here, or not just me, but we can all get long down there. I'm really hoping that happens. But you, you know what? What head and shoulder patterns? Many head and shoulder patterns. What look like head and shoulder patterns? You know what they end up being? They end up being continuation patterns. So you think it looks like a head and shoulder pattern, but you know it doesn't complete, and it just goes like that. Because think about how many people are getting short the dollar Canadian right now. I'm not in it. Matter of fact, I don't have any Canadian exposure at the moment. But how many people are trying to short that bad boy right now? Critical support comes in at 129.90. I would not be on the short side of that. But, you know, as long as we're above 129.90, it's bullish. Whoops. One point. Two nine ninety resistance uh, one thirty. Now remember, this is one thirty sixty five up here. The high was one thirty sixty four. That's obviously, you know, that's obviously playing, and there's some resistance right now. That's actually right there okay um, so 123 anywhere between or I, I'm sorry 130 anywhere between 13050 13065 but I'm just gonna write down 13065 because that, that that's such a huge resistance from years ago but we are still bullish I am out of the dollar Canadian. I took my long off the table at 130.27, so like just a couple of pips away from here yesterday, but it still looks bullish. Just because I'm out doesn't mean that it's not going higher. There's a lot of times that I'll get out of a trade and that thing will just continue to cruise, okay?
Okay. Let's go over to the Kiwi. So the, the New Zealand dollar. You have to be very careful with this one now. Okay, if you're on the short side. Now, a trend line retest comes in right here. That comes in at 66, 30, what is the high here? 66.33, 66 66.35. So basically 66.35, okay? That's a trend line retest. People are gonna be looking to get long down here, okay? 66.35 and then 67 is resistance. If it breaks 67 cents, you don't, you do not want to be on the short side of the Kiwi dollar if we break 67 cents. Point, at least not today. So supports at 66.30, right? 66.35 actually. Point six seven zero zero, And um, we're, I, I've had this, I've had this as bear, how long have we had that, that light on there saying bearish? I mean, how long have we had bearish on there on the on the Kiwi dollar for months, right? Months. It's threatening to go back into a range. Okay, it's threatening. All right. Today is uh, today is popping out of that bearish trend. Let's go over to the Aussie. Now the Aussie, still, 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 we wrote this down yesterday, and it's still, I mean, we hit it once, twice, three times over the last, um, uh, we hit it three times over the last uh, uh, 24 hours. Point seventy three twenty five. How important is that? We wrote that down yesterday. It's still bearish. Support is obviously, oh, uh, I wanted to show you this. Okay, so you see this 161% 100, uh, extension? Okay, takes us to 72.50, right? There's something I forgot to show you guys yesterday. Let's go over to the daily chart. And let me do this. Um, so, uh, 7250 is really important. Okay, so let me write that down. So, this point 7250. Okay, important, right? Important support. So, let me get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Okay, well, let's go over to the weekly chart. So, we've got this, uh, We've got this confluence, right? Uh, actually, let's go to the monthly chart. So this is a monthly chart of the Aussie. 618, okay, of the last 15 years comes in at 71 cents, right? Roughly. And right around 71 cents, we have the 786 retracement. So we have this confluence, right? Then you take this move from 2010 to the high, you have 127% extension at 72.35. You see that? I'm going to make sure that number is correct, but yeah, 72.35. I mean, look at how much confluence comes down here, okay? Now, if you take the last move higher, Low, high, that comes in at 71 and a quarter. So once we get like to 72.50, 72.50 to 70, basically 71 cents, it's a huge, I mean, just huge amount of buyers or uh, support down here, huge amount of support down here. Um, I have not gone long the Aussie dollar, okay? I've not gone long the Aussie dollar, but 
we are coming up to some really big support and I haven't been I haven't even thought about really buying the Aussie dollar since we were at you know I mean I've been bearish basically ever since 108 down I mean you, you if you've been listening here for the last few years you know that I'm pretty much bearish the Aussie all the time and what's what 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 makes it really difficult right now is we're coming into such critical support that I'm actually considering buying the Aussie but I also know that the equity markets are really heavy and the equity markets look like they're gonna roll over so it's a very big conflict for me down here you know to be long the Aussie dollar it's like you know, because I, I still believe that the stock market's going to continue to sell off. So if that happens, then, you know, it should, should theoretically take the Aussie down even lower. But man, look at all this confluence of support down here. I mean, four different, four different FIB levels coinciding right at around the same price. So anywhere between the 72 and 71 cents in the Aussie dollar, huge support, okay? Now, if we break it, if we, if we break these, these levels of support, it's gonna get, I mean, it's gonna get downright ugly because now you're looking, you're looking around 60 to 62 cents. That's a, a thousand pip difference between here and here, right? But you can see, I, I, I mean, this is a, tough place to be on the short side but at the flip the, the the flip side of that argument is you don't really want to be long do you you know I know I don't all right so anyway uh, 7250 is 7250 is support actually I, I don't even need to put an asterisk there 7250 to 71 cents very big support uh, let's go over to the dollar index really quick DXY um, all right 38% retracement holding still. So yesterday's low of 96.28, which will be 96.30 is support. And uh, resistance. We're already probing that previous support, but I, I, I guess you can probably take it all the way up to uh, just like 97, 97.10 or so. Okay, we are still in a range. All right, guys, um, I'm going to put you on hold for just a few minutes. I'm going to go grab a little bit more coffee, and when I come back, we're going to bring in Chris Bear or Brazil 61. Excited to have him here uh, visiting us. We haven't heard from him in a few months, so it'll be nice to have him back. All right, don't go anywhere. I'll see you back here in just a few minutes.